Okay, it's finally gotten a little chilly here in Augusta and I just love fall and fall clothes, but we've had quite a bit going on since we talked the last time. So let's go in where it's warm and get caught up. You know, there's been a lot going on and now that we've gone to every two weeks on Cottage Ketchup, I feel like I have to talk really fast. But we went to Macon, that's my hometown, and we did an event called Savor the South. It was the Federation of Garden Clubs here in Georgia. And it was put together by my third grade classmate, that unbelievable, that was my first friend when I moved to Macon when I was in the third grade. I was so nervous about running into classmates from high school that I might not recognize. I recognized them all, we just really had a great time catching up. And then that night we went to Travis Jean, which is a great store in downtown Macon if you're ever in the area. Scott welcomed us, just we had a great event that night. And then our November Saturday class that we did with the kids was amazing. We did all kinds of great crafts. They've now got keepsakes for Thanksgiving and the food was yummy and delicious. We used a lot of Hershey's products in that. And then the Veterans Day episode. If you missed it, I want you to look at it on YouTube because it was all about my husband, Andy Kilpatrick, who I call Jones. We did three recipes that he loves. He didn't know a thing about it. And honestly, he really liked it. So I kind of came out a winner on that one. And then we've got our fall flavor challenge going on with our cookbook. So if you're not familiar with it and you would like to be part of this, go to our Facebook page and learn about it. We are up to about 300 people that are working together, making the recipes out of the book. And the next one is our cornbread dressing recipe, which will be the 26th of November. So give that a try. Okay, so this weekend, our Thanksgiving episode airs, which we filmed in Madison, Wisconsin, at the headquarters of Sub-Zero, Wolf & Cove. And let me tell you, needless to say, I have never been to Wisconsin. I had the best time. We got to pick the vegetables out of the garden. I got to work with their chef there. It was just an amazing time. And, and I will have to say, we've been filming now for eight years. This might be the best episode that we have ever done. So please tune in. If you're not gonna be in front of the TV, please DVR it. You will have to see the show. Otherwise, it'll be on our YouTube channel in a couple of weeks. And then next, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving is Giving Tuesday. So we have a really great idea. As you all know, I have a special needs granddaughter, Jane Stewart, and my son John is on the board of directors of getting the school that is here now for children with special needs. It's just Apero Academy is doing wonderful things in Augusta, but we have to raise money constantly to keep that school open and serving our community. So if you would be willing to go to aperoacademy.org and donate $20 on Giving Tuesday in honor of Jane Stewart. If we get 100 people to do it, then we've raised $2,000 for Apero Academy. Read about them while you're on their website. It's just a great organization. They're doing wonderful things. You know, when it gets cold outside, I'm all about some hot chocolate. And I'm so glad it's cold because I just love to have this handy and just ready to go. But if you really want to indulge in an amazing recipe for hot chocolate with cream and chocolate and just, oh, it's just scrumptious, then let me recommend this recipe that we did on the show a few seasons ago. It is scrumptious. Be perfect for Thanksgiving morning or Christmas morning or any cold morning with your family. Enjoy. You know, I'm still into Shop Small Saturday. I used to love to do it when I was in retail. And of course, I love to support all of our local businesses, as I'm sure all of you do in your towns. But let me suggest, if you're local here in Augusta, that you pop into American Journeyman. I am actually really into this piece of pottery that they did as a joint venture with Tire City Pottery, which is just an amazing piece. It has the year that Augusta, Georgia was founded. It's a great thing for flowers or for your utensils. You know, mine sits right here on our counter at the cottage with our utensils that we use in the kitchen. So check out both of those. That might be something fun to do on Shop Small Saturday. Hope you enjoy it. 
thanks for joining me today and I'll be back in two weeks with our final version of Vintage Vera. And my granddaughter Frances has really gotten into it. She thinks Granny V is old. <laughs>